start by telling you that the situation in our country is not getting better. It is getting worse. As I have continuously told you in my daily briefings, this disease is a pandemic. As a government, we are continuously improving our level of response to mitigate our rate of infections. I'm deeply saddened that a section of Kenyans have taken to social media to make mockery of some of these efforts. Yesterday, I informed you about our two young people who have recovered from this, this deadly coronavirus disease. However, some have deliberately decided to trivialize our efforts and in so doing, trivialize two Kenyans. Instead of people re-energizing their efforts and raising alert levels, it is shocking that some have decided to make fun and brand our effort as a PR exercise. Really? A PR exercise? Why would a government, in collaboration with the World Health Organization and other intergovernmental organizations, international organizations, decide to make a PR exercise with two innocent Kenyans. It is unpalatable. It is a cake and retrogressive for anybody to trivialize the lives of Kenyans, even one Kenyan. And I condemn in the strongest terms any person who would attempt to do so. I appeal to the media not to slight these matters. And I appeal to our enforcement agencies to arrest social media users. It is wrong and that it should not happen. The current global reality is that close to one million people have so far been infected and 47,000 people have lost their lives. As we speak, Italy has recorded 110 574 cases with 13,155 deaths. Spain has recorded 104 118 cases with 9,387 deaths. Today, I'm also saddened to announce that we have lost an additional two patients who were tested positive to the disease. One in Nairobi and another in Mombasa. This now brings to three the number of deaths of those who have tested positive to the virus in the country. In spite of all this, I'm also pleased to announce to you that the Deputy Governor of Kilifi County, whom we place under mandatory quarantine, has fully recovered. He has been declared fit after being subjected to three tests, all of which have turned negative. Naturally, the issue of the law will now follow up with him. If you may recall, I informed you that this week we have embarked on a mass testing of 2,050 people that we place under mandatory quarantine in various hotels and designated government facilities. This exercise is continuing. 
in the last 24 hours, we have managed to test a total of 662 samples. You will notice that this is a new record in terms of our daily testing capacity. This is because of activation of testing facilities across the country and additional testing facilities in private facilities. Out of the 662 samples, 29 people have tested positive to the coronavirus disease. Out of this number, 28 are Kenyans, while one is a Congolese. This now brings the total number of those who have tested positive for the disease in the country to 110. Let me also...